Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at Linux Lite 3.4 beta. It is based on Ubuntu 16.04 using the kernel 4.4 LTS just like the Ubuntu. So here we have Force Boot Time with the Welcome to Linux Lite screen. It is actually really nice to be honest. Immediately allows you to install updates, drivers, restore point, not sure about that one, and install language support. Really nice, great thing. Forums, help, manual, great stuff, great stuff. The distro is mostly based to being user friendly, and this is definitely a way to go. A screen like that really makes a difference. You can immediately get everything nicely set up, in my opinion. So it's great, truly great. So let's close that off. Let's have a look. The desktop itself is themed XFCE. It looks pretty nice. First, I thought it's actually made desktop or something like that. Then I just discovered it's actually XFCE. I was kind of surprised with that. It looks a bit like cinnamon, in my opinion, anyway. So let's have a look. What do we have here? Let's start with accessories, some archive manager, terminal, yeah, standard thing, text editor. What is it exactly? Leaf patch, very nice, very nice. Lightweight notepad, very nice. Not sure about the terminal. I think it's just a standard XFC terminal. Oh no, it's LX terminal. That's that's impressive. So they're using XFC and LX terminal. Yeah, that's an interesting combination. You would expect them to just go with a standard XFC terminal, which not really. So we have GIMP, image viewer. What do we have here? Reset. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, standard XFC one. Scanner, not into that to be honest. It comes with Firefox immediately. I like this, get support for only for Linux Lite. It's okay. I mean, like if you find problems with Linux at the end, you really won't go into it. You, well, most people won't. I mean, like they will try to figure it out by themselves. I doubt many people will just go and get support. I think it really directs you to the forums. I'm going to, we, I might check that right now. Let's have a look. What do we have here? Be pretty much looking at this distro and, uh, and protective on you, user. Yeah, it just goes to forum. I guess that's all right. I mean, you get a link for it anyway in Firefox. So, yeah. Well, I mean, there's no harm done. And we have Thunderbolt Mail. Media, VLC. I immediately like it. I, I prefer to use VLC for everything, video and MP4 playback, MP3, music, does great job at all of these things. I don't understand why some distros include VLC and some other music player. There's literally no need. If user wants another music player, they can install it themselves, in my opinion. I mean, it's better not to have it and then just removing it for users that, just like me, prefer VLC. It's there. Great. CD, DVD burner. I don't have a burner on this. XF burner, yeah, standard. Yeah, just standard thing. Nothing amazing here. And volume control. We have LibreOffice. Not everything installed though, so you might need to add some extra stuff, but it gives you the basic the document presentation spreadsheet. I can't remember which one is missing now. But it, uh, that's actually all I use myself, to be honest. So. I think it's missing the Impress one. Yeah, Impress is missing. And I think there was something else. Can't remember exactly. And a PDF viewer. Yeah, just a look. Yeah, standard thing. System. We have light tweaks, which I have to immediately say, very nice. Maintaining your system clean, simple. Stick the box. Again, password for your user. Now it's doing it. I've got wrong. <laughs> VM system memory. New packages. Great, clean. Our system is good to go. Really nice tool, to be honest. So, what else? We have light software. We have this thing. Let's have a look. Would you like to update your software source now? Yes, even though I had it updated earlier. Let's just do it again. As you can see it's using the Ubuntu repositories as well. 
install software remove. Let's say I want to install software. What will that bring me to? Okay. That is very nice. Even though I can see that it's not everything. It seems like it's just some basic stuff they provide. But it's a lot of stuff that a lot of people would use in the first place. I mean, we have turned to browser Chromium. This is alright. Skype, yeah, if you, if you use that. Spotify, Steam, TV, or yeah, like the most basic stuff is here that most people would use and want if you want to install it again. Just, it's okay, it's alright, yeah, I have to say, impressive. Looks nice. Looks nice. Back to task selector. What if I want to remove? Let's have a look at that one. Well, I can't remove anything. That's a slight disappointment. For example, if I want to remove Firefox, I can't do that to replace it with a different browser. Disappointed here. Disappointed. I think it's just what you install from it. And then we have Synaptics. And it's just a standard Synaptics. Nothing amazing, nothing themed. Standard thing, nothing extra. To be honest, I kind of find I find their software tool being pretty cool. But then they include synaptics, which kind of tells me that their thing is not ready. As you can see yourself, there wasn't much there, and I could even remove stuff like Firefox. Even if just say I want to remove VLC, anything, some extra stuff, or even LibreOffice. I don't use that maybe, and I want to remove it. Can't through that tool into synaptics. I'm not sure why they include it. I'm not sure if it's a new thing in beta now. I didn't really look into it. It was a while since I used Linux Lite. If it's a new thing, then that's fair. Let's have a look. Lightweeks, yeah, we talked about that one. NTFS configuration. System back. Yeah, that's another thing. Let's look at the system settings. I think this is from Mate, actually. Power manager is XFC, or maybe no. Anyway, so here we have it. Yeah, it's XFC, for sure. Light, yeah, we, it comes with a light DM lock screen. Great tool. Firewall, so some standard stuff. Let's see what we have in appearance anyway. So we can change styles. Character, character, yeah, yeah that's nice, nice. Icons, yeah, we have a bit of icons. Oh, standard stuff, to be honest. Artifida, yeah, it's nothing amazing here. Just standard. That's the only extra. Font settings. No much here. Just dark, dark. I like the way they include dark theme. Just, and it actually works properly. Some dark themes that they include in other distros just mess up everything. This actually works properly. Which is nice. I'm going to switch back to the normal one. Desktop settings. So, yeah, that's the wallpapers they include. Switches automatically, which is always nice. Can have a quick look at it. Very nice, very nice, yes. And the center XFC wallpapers. Very nice, and I think it was something. Menus, icons, yeah, you can disable the icons. So, yeah. that's, that's good, that's good. Center XFC stuff, to be honest. Nothing amazing here, nothing extra. Well, there's nothing extra to be honest, yeah. So what else do we have here? Well, the interface definitely looks clean, I have to say that. Works smooth, there's slight animations between things. We have workspaces, immediately enabled. Very nice. Let's look at the file manager, it's important for some people. Toner, standard XFC. A lot of XFC, to be honest, and then we have to Alex Terminal. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised by it. I'm not sure why they went with Alex Terminal. <laughs> kind of surprised looking the fact they go everything XFC based. <laughs> Strange. Strange. Uh, as of memory usage, let's just have a look now. We have 387.88 megabytes, but at the boot time I'm actually getting 285 megabytes. So that's not bad for XFC, but not the best I've seen. I see lower usage on XFC. Which I mean it's not bad, not bad. 
just I remember from previous usage of it on the older versions, I remember it not being actually perfectly smooth. This seems way better than what I remember. So like ages ago I used this last time. It looks better as well. To be honest. And yeah, so as of ease of use I would say it's okay. I guess I mean you can install social through synaptics. Which is okay. Then but then again I would prefer their own tool was more developed. I'm not sure why could they not just include the other stuff from Synaptics that we have here. It just makes life easier. Because even though, so, I mean, there isn't much here, like you just stick the thing and then apply it. Installation, mark, and just apply. There isn't much, to be honest. So, yeah. But still, I mean, it's not as easy as just pressing install be done. Like, just have a, again, have a look at the, their installer. Uh, sure, update. Hmm. They could realize that I did it earlier, which that's okay. In here, just comparing it to Synaptics, I guess. Let's say I want to start Chromium. Yes. Pretty easy. Easier than Synaptics, in my opinion. Even though Synaptics, you can include multiple things, and it will just install them one by one. And here, you can install one thing at a time. But that's something I think it could be fixed. But then again, I think their soft software installer is easier than Synaptics. I just press the thing, install, done. It's going in Samsung after market, apply. Even though it's, it's, it takes about the same amount of clicks, it's not as obvious as here. So I, I think that's a step forward for them. Definitely a great thing. I hope to see that being developed further. The light tweaks, as I said, great thing. So you don't have to go to terminal, I just anything, clean anything yourself. Just go to one tool, clean everything. I think there was even, yeah, Firefox, yeah, Firefox cache, you don't even have to go to Firefox to do anything, just wipe it, it's just, I think it's actually very similar to Bleachbit, then I, Bleachbit is a bit more confusing, it's not really, but this is like, literally just take it and even tells you if it's safe or not, so, good thing, even though I'm not sure what would they caution I would include that. I think they could remove that to be honest. If there's like there's a risk of something, boot up fix. We'll slash change the computer host name, remove currents from modern push to boot from well yeah, okay, there isn't much wrong with it. I don't sure why they say caution then. I mean I, like that's a lot of things that Linux issues do wrong. They they say they're user friendly, but they give you the option caution or something like that. I think they could remove that if it's if there's a risk of something breaking in there. Remove it. That's how you make things simpler. Simple as that. And also looking from perspective of user friendliness, GIMP, not a way to go, guys. Linux light is. Like they should change to something like this. Include include GIMP, which adds some other another some cut some some other paint like image editor would be easier. I don't really use anything like that, so I can't name any of them right now. I should just search for something, use it for a while and then be done. In most cases I just use GIMP. So what else do we have here? Well that's I think that would be pretty much it on this one. So for all I think they're going in the right direction. Except one thing I didn't mention is actually out of Flash Player. Seriously. Just get rid of it. <laughs> Not sure why would they include it, to be honest. Not sure why at all. Out of Flash Player. <laughs> oh boy. The worst thing you could have on your computer right now. <laughs> Even though they're supporting it now on Linux, on GNU slash Linux, I should say, just like my channel name, and I should keep to that. Yeah, and I think I mentioned Linux distros a few times, so I'm very sorry for people who actually care. And well, I, I just want to give respect to GNU team. So yeah, GNU slash Linux, I shall remember that. So yeah. 
system to access the back of press store, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yeah. So overall, that'll be it. As you can see, it's still the only Chrome on the internet. It's not the best. So overall, I think it's a good distro. Even though it says light into name, I wouldn't say it's light as now. Even though they don't specifically say that on their website, it's meant to be for older computers, it's light or something like that. So the light thing on it kind of confuses me. I remember first time trying it out, I thought I might give it a go. It looked nice and it says light on it, so I think it's light. But then I saw my computer or like a really old Dell computer with a Pentium 4, and I remember horrible performance on it. I don't know why though, it should work fine, but it didn't, so I just ended up installing Ubuntu, which worked perfectly fine on it then. But yeah, so yeah, I have to say, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. They didn't have much problems with it, everything installed fine. They have one single issue with any applications. As of boot of time, so I have to say it takes its time, I don't know why. Well, I'm using it virtual virtual machine, but then again, had this just a bit of way faster than this. But as of user friendliness, I have to say it's going to the right direction anyway. It's definitely not ready yet, but it's going to the right direction. So anyway, I think I should end up on this one, guys. And thanks for watching if you watched it, and <laughs> fully anyway. And if you liked it, like the video, press the like button, and then the dislike button if there's something wrong with the video, guys. And remember to subscribe, and i see you next time.